Hi, my name is Di Green and my top tips for the coaching zone will refer to hip mobility and strengthening. This is very important, especially in athletics, uh, but also it can be used in many different sports. You need to be strong around, around the hips to support your legs in whatever activity you're doing. So there's one exercise that really focuses on that. Simply put, it's hurdle walkovers. A few key points, try and keep yourself facing front. Don't let yourself open up. Um, try and stay nice and tall. You don't want to be leaning forward or backwards too much or, or leaning to the side. I'll give you a quick demonstration. One foot in each. The hurdles are as low as they go. And if you're really good, you can try to keep your heel down on the floor because that'll really work the glutes a little bit more. That's my top tip if, for those of you who find it easy. And if you find it really easy, the next thing you can do, put your hands above your head, hold a bar uh, or a medicine ball, and that will really put an extra stress as well through your core, your trunk, and down into your, into your hips. So a variation of the first exercise we did is, is to do very similar, but we're going backwards this time. Key points being, try not to lean forward to counterbalance your legs going behind you. Uh, try and keep yourself square on yet again. Try and stay as tall as possible, nice and proud, and really work your glutes and your hips. So off we go. Start going backwards. Take a little hop in between to get yourself closer to the next hurdle. That's no problem at all. Just keep going backwards really opens up the hips. You will lean forward a little bit, but try to counter that as best you can. As you get better at them, you'll find you'll be able to put the hurdles up. These are as low as they go for track and field hurdles. And then when you become more advanced, like I said, you can hold things in the air above your head. Uh, and you can also do more dynamic ones, which will involve skipping, perhaps down the sides, over the tops. There's lots of different variations that can be found out there. And that's my top tips.